Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States restricts ASML from shipping EUV lithography machines to China and does not allow mainland Chinese manufacturers to obtain the highest end chip manufacturing technical support. Since ASML uses American technology, it also has to abide by market rules. At present, ASML can only ship low-end equipment to China. However, if China wants to achieve a breakthrough, it has to rely on self-research and get rid of its dependence on foreign technology by building production lines in China. The good news is that a European giant has given China a big gift to build a factory in China to circumvent technology export restrictions. Foreign media, this is pushing the United States to a dead end. China is vigorously developing the chip manufacturing industry and has set a target of 70% chip self-sufficiency. SMIC, the most advanced and largest chip manufacturer in China, is also stepping up its production capacity layout with four 12-inch fabs under construction. With the improvement of the domestic chip manufacturing economy, there is a higher demand for lithography equipment. The main function of the lithography machine is to use lithography technology to project the circuit pattern in the chip manufacturing process onto the silicon wafer to form the circuit structure on the chip. Most of the lithography machines in China rely on imports, and they are almost purchased from ASML in the Netherlands. ASML is the world's largest manufacturer of lithography machines and the only company that can produce EUV lithography machines. If China wants to obtain the support of EUV lithography machines, it must either let the United States relax the rules or rely on self-development. With the behavior and style of the United States, there is no plan to turn back, so self-research must be carried out at critical moments and production lines must be established in China to get rid of dependence on foreign technology. In this regard, the European giant sent a big gift to China. The giant is called KMWE. According to news from foreign media, KMWE has opened a company in China to circumvent restrictions on the export of semiconductor technology. It is estimated that many people are relatively unfamiliar with the company KMWE. According to public information, MWE is a machining company in the Netherlands. The services provided by the company include precision machining, assembly, testing, surface treatment and electronic assembly. The main customers are in semiconductors medical devices, aerospace, satellite, and national defense and other fields. KMWE has a high level of technology and experience in the semiconductor field and provides machining and assembly services for many world-renowned semiconductor companies. The company's semiconductor business involves areas such as silicon wafer processing, fixture manufacturing, vacuum technology, front-end equipment assembly and testing. In addition, KMWE also cooperates with Dutch company ASML to provide some machining components and assembly services. KMWE is a very important upstream supplier of ASML and being able to enter ASML's supply chain is enough to prove the strength of KMWE. Now that KMWE has opened a factory in China, 
it will undoubtedly help the development of China's lithography machine industry chain. The components produced by the company in China are not subject to U.S. rules. In the case of domestic lithography machines in China, KMWE may play a key role. From the fact that KMWE rushed to China to build a factory, it can be seen that many European giants are willing to increase cooperation with China and do not want to follow in the footsteps of the United States and suffer restrictions at will. China has a very large semiconductor market, and it has always maintained openness and cooperation. As long as you abide by the rules of the Chinese market, you may get considerable revenue and profit returns when doing business in the Chinese market. This is very attractive to European suppliers, after all, no one will have trouble with money. While the United States regards European countries as allies on the surface, it is actually using European countries as tools and thugs to achieve its goals, and the Netherlands is no exception. Both ASML and KMWE are Dutch companies, but they have the same attitude towards the Chinese market, and they must increase their layout in the Chinese market no matter what. As a result, US restrictions could take a hit. Some foreign media said that this is driving the United States to a dead end. Once more and more national suppliers stand on the opposite side of American rules, the United States will become the unjust and helpless party, and American technology will also be excluded from the industrial chain. In order to do business normally, the giants of all parties will definitely find ways to bypass American technology. On the one hand, they will increase the research and development of independent technologies, and on the other hand, they will build factories in China to avoid technology export restrictions. It is believed that KMWE's establishment of factories in China is just the beginning. In the future, as KMWE achieves significant benefits from the establishment of factories in China, it will attract more foreign manufacturers to participate in the construction and layout of the Chinese market and promote the continuous progress of China's lithography machine industry chain. Of course, one's own efforts cannot be left behind. The country still needs to start with capital investment, the establishment of a professional R&D team, and the establishment of a R&D platform. Since the self-development of lithography machine is a long-term and complicated process, it needs the support and efforts of the country, enterprises, universities, and other aspects. Only through continuous investment and hard work can we achieve the goal of independent research and development of lithography machines. It is not yet known how far the domestic lithography machine can go, but what is certain is that as long as we continue to persevere, we will usher in one icebreaker after another and finally achieve solid accumulation. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.